Hello everybody, welcome back to the Lair of the Overmind for part 10 of my Let's Play Undertale series. We just made it past Undyne, and we're going further into this area. It's looking, oh snap, like we're gonna have to get past Undyne yet again. Oh no. Oh jeez, this is not a good way to start things off. Oh man. Oh, dodge. Dodge, 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 dodge. Oh jeez. I suddenly feel like I've got Piccolo from Dragon Ball Z abridged on my ass. Ah! Dodge! Dodge! No, freaking dodge! Ah! No! Oh, jeez! Oh, jeez! It's not cool, it's not cool, stop! Stop it, stop it, stop it! Ah! Ah! Oh, no, I can't move. I can't move, guys! Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't move. Don't move. Oh, snap. Don't do it. Don't do it! Oh! Don't do it! Oh, it's the kid. <laughs> He's all smiling. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, man. Jeez. <laughs> the kid. Oh, my God! She touched me! Undyne just... Yeah, she touched me. Uh, never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky. If you were standing just a little to the left. Jeez. Yo, don't worry, I'm sure we'll see her again. And on the face. Right on to the face. Good job. Well, continuing our journey now. <laughs> Freaking getting away from Undyne. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. It's stuck to the table. Oh, man. Knowing the mouse might one day extract the cheese from the magical crystal. It fills you with determination. Indeed it does. Scrang. <laughs> That's going to be the default voice for the Echo Flower. I'm making it so. What's up, Sans? I'm thinking about getting into the telescope business. It's normally 50,000 G to use this premium telescope, but since I know you, you can use it for free. How's about it? Uh... Sure. Eh, nothing on there. You can't see nothing. Oh, oh, he pranked us. He, you prankster. Huh? Are, you aren't satisfied? Don't worry, I'll give you a full refund. <laughs> Jeez, hands. Uh, now we got gunk on our eye. Great. Thanks a bunch. See what's through here. Oh, it's the nice cream dude. I relocated. <clears throat> okay. Hey, I relocated my store, but there is still no customers. Fortunately, I've thought of a solution. Punch cards. Every time you buy a nice cream, you can get a punch card from the box. If you have three cards, you can trade them for a nice free nice cream. They're sure to get the customers to come back. Nice cream. It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Sure. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. The box contains one card. Take it. Yes. You got a punch card. Cool beans. Nice cream. It's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Do it. Super, here you go. Card's in the box. Yeah can't pick the card up because we are full on inventory. Thankfully there's a box right here. We can put a couple of these extra things in there. I wouldn't put one of those nice creams in there too, why not? And buy one more nice cream so we can get three those three cards and get a free nice cream. Nice cream, it's a frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 25G. Super, here you go. Your card's in the box. You got the nice cream. Yeah, the box contains two cards. Take one. Yes. You got a punch card. The box contains one card. Take a card. Yes. You got another punch card. Now I've got three punch cards. Hey, you got three punch cards. How about redeeming them for some ice cream? It's free. Yeah. Here, a free ice cream. You lost three cards and got an ice cream. <laughs> there you go, dude. Help you out with your promotion and stuff. What's, what's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? 
Uh, back off, buddy. Back off. Oh, it looks like we can't get across here. There's a ducky across there. Little ducky. Rubber ducky, rubber ducky, rubber ducky. All right. Push on through. Hey, look, it's a, it's another duck flower. You hear, a pa you hear a passing conversation. So, don't you have any wishes to make? <laughs> you hear a passing conversation. Huh, just one, but it's kind of stupid. <laughs> Okie doke. Well, it doesn't matter how stupid you are. Wish is a wish. Everybody's got a right to a wish. Ring. Hello, this is Papyrus. Remember when I asked you about the clothes? Well, the friend you wanted to know, her opinion of you is very... murdery. <laughs> well, worry not, dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. You said you were not wearing a dusty tutu. So, of course, I actually told her you were indeed wearing a dusty tutu, you bastard, Papyrus. It pained me to tell such a bold-faced lie, but since you aren't wearing a dusty tutu, she surely won't attack you. Now you are safe and sound. Wowee, this is hard. I just want to be everybody's friend. Yeah, trying to bounce between two friends who kind of hate each other. <laughs> well, I don't hate her. That's not fair to say. You walk into Mold Small. Can't we spare these guys right out the gate? Yes, we can. Don't want to be messing around with no Mold Small. You hear a passive conversation. Don't say that. Come on, I promise I won't lie. <laughs> do, 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 do. Looking like this is the way forward. We might want to go back and see if we missed anything. The power to take their souls. This is the power that humans feared. Oh no. Aaron flexes in. Well, we're going to have to have a flex off with Aaron again. He flexes twice as hard. Flexing contest, okay. Yeah, I am Hans. We are going to flex with you. You flex harder, Iron flexes thrice as hard. Attack increases for you too. Nice, I won't lose though. <laughs> yeah, he's totally got the Hans Franz accent. Makes complete sense. Aaron is ready for your next flex. Let's do it. You flex! Aaron flexes very hard! In fact, he flexes himself right out of the room! I win. Yes. Alright. We got much bigger muscles than that guy. Maybe. I don't know, that's not exactly defined either. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna move right along. Come on back here and see if we miss something. Oh, there's another path off too. Oh, but it's a dead end. Cool beans. More of these. They don't really do anything. It's a pair of ballet shoes. Will you take it? Sure. The ballet shoes, I assume, is, uh... Well, we just got armor, so it's a weapon, maybe? Yeah. Make you feel incredibly dangerous, because we get to kick people with these ballet shoes. You equipped the ballet shoes. Tough glove. Boom, ba boom, ba da 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 yeah, love this music. This I mean, I feel like the music in this game does a very good job of giving out the right, giving off the right atmosphere. So we got Washua and Aaron at once, so we're gonna have to dodge some crazy stuff probably. Yeah, Washua, clean me. No need for a spinning suit. Ah. Ah. Mercy that guy right now. Come on in. This is what is fine. No. Get in between them flexes. Uh, shoot, can we shoo him? You tell Aaron to go away. Feisty, ha! Huh? <laughs> Jeez. No, don't sweat on us. Don't do it, please. Smells like a muscle farm. Oh, God. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Attack increases for you two. Flex in contest. Okay, flex more. You can't beat me, Aaron. You just, you can't do it. Your, your flexing skills are not as good. Flex is thrice as hard. Nice, I won't lose though. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see who has the last flexing laugh. I think it's gonna be me. You flex, and then he flexes. Not nah, actually, he's gonna flex so well that he flies away. Well done, Aaron. I just, I can't compete with them muscles. 
I just can't compete with them muscles. Let's get up here. Yeah. Oh no. Oh uh, no, run. Oh no. Oh, uh, this is bad. This is bad. Oh no. Uh. <laughs> oh crap. Hey there. No, I noticed you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion San, you here? Uh. Um, You're visiting Waterfall, huh? That's great here, huh? You'll love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Uh, sure it is? Even though the water's getting so shallow here. I have to sit down all the time, but... Hey, hey, that's okay. It beats moving to the city, living in a crowded aquarium, like all my friends did. No, oh, onion sand. And the aquarium's full anyway, so uh, even if I wanted to, uh, that's okay though, you hear? Undyne's gonna fix everything, you hear? I'm gonna get out of here and live in the ocean, you hear? Yeah, that'd be cool. Hey there, that's the end of this room. I'll see you around and have a good time in Waterfall. <laughs> Later, Onion San, I hope you get out into the world and have much more freedom. I really do. I really do. Oh no. We got a Shiren. Hides in the corner, but somehow encounters you anyway. Uh, okay. Let's see, what can we do? Smile, maybe? A smile. You asked to see Shiren smile, too. Shiren gets quieter in the corner. Aaron nods. Aaron nods his head approvingly. What the heck? Aaron's sitting back there just being like, yeah, it's good, yeah. Oh, pretends to be a pop idol. Oh, a pop idol, huh? Oh, let's hum, let's hum along. You hum a jazz ballad. Oh, we can see your face now. Sharon, follow your melody. See, raise, see, raise me, see me, see me. Oh, oh, she's active. Sharon seems much more comfortable singing along. Oh, cool. Well, we can spare, but let's hum again. You hum some more. Monsters are drawn to the music. Oh, dude, nice. Suddenly, it's a concert. Cool. Si fa si fa so fa so mi re re. Ah. Sans is selling tickets made of toilet paper. <laughs> what? Oh, that's awesome. You hum some more. The seats are sold out. You feel like a rock star. Me so, me so, me see, me la see so. The crowd tosses clothing. It's a storm of socks. <laughs> keep doing it. Just keep doing it. You hum some more, but the constant attention, the tours, the groupies, it's all aggressive tuning. Uh, Shiren thinks about her future. Let's hum some more. You and Shiren have come so far, but it's time. You both have your own journeys to embark on. You hum a farewell song. Final toot! Oh, Shiren. It was fun being famous with you. Yeah. You won! Sweet, we just had a freaking concert together. That is cool beans. And we got like a puzzle here. There's a piano. Play it. Yes, let's do that. Oh. There's a piano. Play it. Yes. Um. Okay, so that button does it, and then... Yeah. That's pretty cool. Should probably read the sign, actually. <laughs> a haunting song echoes down the corridor. Won't you play along? Only the first of only the first eight are fine. A song plays down the corridor, huh? So further along I take it. The northern room hides a great treasure. A little bit further. 
This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears, and an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There is only one exception, the soul of a special species of monster called a boss monster. A boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death, if only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened, and now it never will. Well, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Alright guys, I'm going to go ahead and bring the episode to a close here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share this with your friends if you want to get them into some Undertale hype. And, yeah, just thanks for watching and hanging out with me while I play this awesome game. And I'll see you guys next time.